What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and today we'll be reviewing Viserion, the Legends Pass monster so I'm gonna go ahead and hatch him real quick he looks uh, pretty cool, he has a cool looking design so today's video we're gonna feed him to level 100 and then we're gonna test him out to see how good he is so see at his traits at rank 0 he has artifact at rank 1 resurrection block which is pretty good because Uriel the divine is in the meta and at rank 3 drains uh, precision for the whole team obviously it doesn't uh, attain precision because of the artifact trait which blocks every status effect so I'm gonna go ahead and feed this and uh, now we look at its skills so removes all control effects and applies double damage that's good then removes positive effects so we got a positive effect removal skill along with blind and total blind and then we got a torture removal skill which i guess is pretty good as well for a support so i'm gonna go ahead and add these recommended skills i do see a problem here it doesn't have a negative effect removal in its skill base no negative effect removal for a support now that has been a problem with many supports recently they do not have a like a negative effect removals it's really rare to see like you see other supports like jolteen as well so guys for runes i'm gonna go team speed and uh, let's test it out in a uh, war which i actually have currently all right so let's see what we can do uh i mean going first i don't really see what i can do i guess um start off with the uh, true vision and damage boost i mean he'd do pretty good paired with an attacker but uh nahane is a denier and turtle moral is a tank so i'm just gonna torture this guy and see what happens okay uh area mega possession and team freeze nahane is a pretty good cosmic anyway let's see what we can do uh both of my guys are freeze just gonna go ahead and move just gonna go ahead and do some raw damage i guess and uh, the thing with viserion is so far looking at his skills i can purely say that he's not that great of a support monster i personally would not recommend him but like in team wars i recommend him because of his you know books uh, his restrictions it's rare to find monsters in uh you know uh, these kind of restrictions where it's present in these types of books so I wouldn't really use him unless you don't have any other support to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see what I can do here. Uh, uh, yeah, just do that. Same thing. Uh, I wish he had an area positive effect removal and area negative effect removal. Like all the supporters right now, they're really lacking in uh, the area removal things. Like that's the base for a support. I don't know why we haven't gotten uh, many monsters with these okay i think i'm gonna win this one definitely have the upper hand here just blind him and go with the mega possession okay it's gonna we're gonna win this one with three war coins who do i torture okay this should work oh we got the special removes positive effects total blind removes negative effects and heals them by 50 percent. okay this is good nice animation Oh, miss. Miss on Lindworm. But everyone's been healed by 50%. So this should be pretty good for us. And uh, just do that for some raw damage. And uh, really got nothing else to do. It, it would be good with an attacker. But I will test him out in multiplayer after this. So you can see how good he is with an attacker. Okay. not No damaging moves here. What do I do? I'm just i'm just doing raw damage i'm trying to get him off let's see curse him okay he's giving himself drowned let's add bleed to that and uh same thing true vision and damage boost might replace uh the true vision and damage boost with the area blind it has and three war coins so let's test it out in multiplayer now Okay guys, so this is my multiplayer team right now. I'm using the same three runes, t three team speed, along with my sorcerer as denier and toggle as attacker. So let's see how it goes. Alright, first battle. Alright, so we got another toggle and we have a gelimer as well. Just start off with cooldown activation. 
Let's see how this goes. Uh, just start off with the shield. And Viserion, let's go. Uh, what should I do here? Think. I don't know. Just give blind to Jelimer, I guess. Okay, all of these guys got freezed. So that's it, guys. Viserion is. It's like okay, I guess. Mass support. I mean, if you don't have any other support and you're looking for him, I guess he could be used. His, the only good thing about him is his trait, which is the artifact and, you know, at rank 1 resurrection block, I guess, which is good. But as to consider his moves, not that great. Oh, I got Cursed Countdown. Alright, well, they're gonna die. Both of these will die. Oh, he just healed himself. No problem. Uh, uh Let's... Give him double damage because he's gonna die out soon. Okay, and we're out of stamina. Relics kind of like ruined the game with the stamina removal. But Jellimer's gonna die out here. Just do... Uh, okay, I die after this. Just give my teammates shield before I die. I mean, it doesn't matter. Jellimer's gonna die after this one. Just recharge and frost him again. I mean, he's gonna die after this. Okay, Viserion... I don't know really what to do, just do a blind thing and he's dead from tortures. Alright guys, let's move on to the next battle. Now, the main concern I have about this guy is no negative effect removal. Like, not even one skill with negative effect removal. He has torture removal, he has a control skill removal, I think this might be an easy battle. He has torture removal, he has control skill removal. But he does not have a negative effect. Not even a, uh, like an ally negative effect. I mean a team negative effect is uh, really useful. Not even an ally negative effect. So that uh, really sucks because you've got uh, really good uh, uh, negative effects. Such as you got trade disabled. You got, you got blind. You got minor blind. You got damage reduction. And it just sucks that Viserion cannot just remove all of them. Like here I did the double damage move but it only removes like the control effects so that's not that good for a support and we win this one as well easy easy battle so there we go another victory and uh, gotta discard this one so guys my main concern for this monster is that you know all the things i said so far it's not that great it has good speed stat it has a good relic slot area but to conclude, would I use this? Nah, I would rather use uh, better supports. Such as you got Dr. Bloom, you got Jolteen. These two are better. I prefer Dr. Bloom over Jolteen because of, you know, it's damage boost. But it's not that great for the support. But if you don't have any other option, I guess you go with him. But uh, I wouldn't recommend him. But that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching.